lesson one. This is photosynthesis. If we look at a food chain, a very simple food chain, we've got grass, which is eaten by a slug, which is eaten by a bird. We can give these uh, organisms some terms. So grass is called a producer. The slug and the bird are both called consumers. Let's look at why this is. So grass is a producer because it produces um, its own food. The slug is a consumer. The bird is a consumer because they both have to eat to gain uh, their own food. So a plant like grass is a producer because it does something called photosynthesis. Now photosynthesis is a chemical reaction that takes place inside plant cells. And it uses light to make food. So a very simple definition is that photosynthesis is a chemical reaction that uses light to make food. Now we can actually say a little bit more. So photosynthesis is an endothermic reaction. This means that it takes in energy. So light transfers energy from the surroundings into the uh, plant. The reaction takes in energy. Now, there's various scientists who have uh, been involved in coming up with the idea of photosynthesis and discovering photosynthesis. And here are a few of them. So we've got a guy called Van Helmont, Senebier, Joseph Priestley, Ingenhaus, and Theodore de Soiseur. And these all came up with different ideas for photosynthesis. Um, but between them, they ended up coming up with the equation. So if we just take a look at photosynthesis in the cell then, and then the equations. So just a little reminder of the structure of a um, plant cell. So the cell has a box-like shape, has a cell wall made of cellulose, has a cell membrane, cytoplasm, chloroplasts, and we'll come back to those, nucleus, vacuole, ribosomes, and mitochondria. Now we, in photosynthesis, are interested in the chloroplasts. Inside the chloroplasts, there is a green substance called chlorophyll. So if we take a look at this first equation, you'll see where chlorophyll fits in. So photosynthesis involves the reaction between water and carbon dioxide. That reaction is able to happen because of energy transferred by light. So that's why you can see sunlight on the arrow. In order for that energy to be utilized though, we need something called chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is a green pigment that we find inside chloroplasts. And it's what makes plants look green. Okay, but chlorophyll acts a little bit like a solar panel, um, absorbing that light um, into the uh, chloroplast. As a result of water and carbon dioxide reacting in the presence of light and chlorophyll, oxygen and glucose are produced. Now this can be represented as a symbol or a chemical equation as well. And it's as follows. So what we have, and if you just think about this, you know, the formula for water is H2O, the formula for carbon dioxide CO2. So we've got six lots of H2O reacting with six lots of CO2 in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll produces six lots of O2 and one lot of C6H12O6, which is the chemical formula for glucose. So this is the symbol or chemical equation for photosynthesis. And just as a little reminder, reactants, H2O, CO2, and products O2 and C6H12O6. So photosynthesis, there's your equations. Those equations were, were you know, concluded by the scientists that we've just been talking about. You can see that it's an endothermic reaction because it involves sunlight. Um, and you can see the, pr the products, oxygen and glucose. Glucose is the food 
that photosynthesis produces for the plant. Okay. <laughs>